Hello everyone. So I started a new uh, program and uh, up here you can see it's back to pivot point. Let's just select uh, the 3D cursor once again and if I'm going to edit mode, tap like so. Um, we if you move here, options, uh, auto merge is turned off. I'm just going to turn that on again and to prevent that from resetting again I'm just going to move to file defaults and let's not load factory settings because then you lose all the key settings that you have up to this point we're going to save startup file and now it's going to remain as it is now so that's uh, that's cleared up now if you select front view select this you only select the front part maybe you would like to select some things in the back as well and then you have to turn it over or something but there is a solution of course which is well I always press shift Z which is uh, these two if I press shift Z now it's in uh, solid view this one is wireframe and this one is x-ray if I select wireframe it's also turning x-ray on if that's off then you can see there is no wire it's a wireframe but you need the x-ray as well so I'm gonna press shift C it's back to solid view that might be pretty convenient for selecting things now that's out of the way I'm gonna move over to another selection tool in order to do that I'm just gonna X delete these vertices press shift A or just select add I'm going to introduce the UV sphere for a moment. Press Shift Z to toggle. And then I'm just going to click one vertex. Now, if I move to select, here's select more. That's Control Numpad plus, less, uh, and minus. So let's do that. And uh, it selects the connected vertices to the one selected. So if I just select two of them, for instance, like this, Control, keep it plus, we'll do this, and minus, we'll do this. So that's fine, but it's the keypad. Let's change that for a moment. Right click, change shortcut. I'm just using Control, and then scroll up, scroll mouse wheel up, and this one, right click, change shortcut, Control, scroll down, as you can see here. So that might be easier. And uh, I'll wait. I just forgot something. If I just duplicate this, and I've got something here, duplicate it, got something over there, and I'm working on something here. I have to pan over here, zoom in, and it's, it's just, okay, it just doesn't work out too well at some point. You have another key, numpad period, and it snaps the view to the whatever you selected. And now it's centered in the in its uh, whatever you do. So X delete vertices. I'm gonna select these numpad period like this. And uh, the num it's again it's the numpad. So let's move to view. And it says frame selected. I just right click, change shortcut, control, middle mouse, like this. And now I move over to control alt U key map let's find this frame selected that's this one and let's say uh, it's gonna be click here instead of press so now I just control click middle click and then it snaps over to the view like this let's save those these preferences as well let's just select like this, save preferences and now we can continue with our little tutorial here bang it's lovely so there's a lot of tools under your belt at this point a lot of stuff and I figure let's just practice some more with these extrusions and let's design something that you might be interested in as well which is, well, I'm going to design my uh, living room interior. 
and you could just do the same for your living room but uh, yeah you could skip this if you'd like if you think you uh, don't need this but I would suggest you give it a try just uh, design your house and just uh, get to know all the things that you've learned so far I'm just gonna start with a door frame extrude let's say 10 1 meter that's a bit much scale 0.1 so this is 10 centimeters and uh, I'm gonna select this duplicate extrude now I'm gonna select this scroll up control scroll up delete duplicate so this is the wall and this is the door frame now I'm just gonna extrude this extrude two meters in the z direction two meter let's say two meter ten two point one meter bang and now I can just select my cursor here rotate 45 I have to scale this there's two ways of doing it let's just turn it a bit like that so then uh, scale now it's scaling everywhere shift Y like this and now I'm gonna type in a calculation asterisk shift 8 um, SQRT in the top left as you can see which is square root parenthesis 2 and then closing parenthesis enter and now it's straight another option would be if I press ctrl Z for a second is take a look at the top scale shift Y shift S snap menu selection to grid this is the door frame it's not connected to the wall so you could just uh, select the wall separately from the frame now shift Z I'm gonna select this extrude let's say one meter and then again I have to se select the wall I guess let's see this is the wall out here scale minus one step my cursor here extrude scale zero that's a door frame now I've got another door this opens to the inside and uh, duplicate rotate G to the grid let's move the door up here so I can just uh, G connect these walls I could just select uh, these and these I just X delete these I've got some windows in here so X delete vertices um, let's just delete these vertices X delete vertices extrude 5 centimeter point of 5 let's make it 6 yeah sort of like that and then duplicate out here extrude like that uh, let me see there's a window on top of here as well let's just extrude this part six centimeters and extrude this part extrude right over here and then X delete faces extrude this part extrude six centimeters point oh six X delete faces I made a mistake here oh yeah G six centimeters well snap my cursor 
here extrude scale minus one extrude G come on fix fix right So basically, X delete edges, extrude, kind of like this, I suppose. Yeah. Out here, G six centimeter. Set my cursor here. Extrude scale zero. This one. Extrude. Snap my cursor here. Extrude scale zero. Extrude scale zero. And so on. And I think I goofed up a bit here. These frames are not closed. So, okay. I'm gonna select these. Select, uh, yeah, and select these. And I, say, I guess I'm going to select edges. These. Deselect. Oh, too much. Deselect these edges. Oh, there's still. Deselect these edges. I just need that. Hmm. Extrude. Now get back to vertex selection. And that's done. I guess. Yeah, let's add some color. I'm sorry I have to say so, but if I just select these walls and then control scroll like that. Yeah, and I need some some difference in that. So I'm moving back to here, which is material preview. And we already have one material, which is kind of gray white stuff. Um, let's get to object mode, tap, and select this little globe here. And there it is. We already have one material, which is, well, what you see here some kind of white, gray. Well, I'm going to change that a bit. This is going to be the color of the wall, so I'm just going to... Uh, I don't know. Like that, I suppose. A bit darker, maybe. Like that. A bit of a beige color. And I'm going to call this wall. This is the name of the color that you see here. Now, we have to add a new one, and I'm in object mode, I'm going to add a new color for the for door frame. So, here's a plus, and these are just slots where you can put a color in. So I'm just going to select new, I'm just going to click here and say, for instance, white. I'm going to select this part, a little bit white like this. Yeah. I'm going back to edit mode, Alt A, invert. Now I selected the door, the frames, and then I'm going to select white assign. And now there's a bit of a color depth and difference there. So object mode, yeah, this is looking pretty. This is looking pretty pretty, I guess. And uh, as I said. If I'm just selecting this, for instance, and scroll my mouse wheel, control, scroll, I select this part of the wall, I select this, control, scroll, select this part, control, scroll, this part. I can select the wall separate from the frame because it's not connected. And since I've got auto connect up here, auto merge on, 
I just, uh, for instance, I select these two. Oh, wait a minute. This is X delete edges. Let's take a look down here. Now there's an edge here as well. X delete edges. Let's select this. Control click. Middle click. Yeah. X delete edges. You don't need this. Control middle click. Let's select the top as well. Oh, here's something. X delete edges. Now this is fine, I guess. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to select this and this dot here. Control click, middle click, top view. Duplicate. I'm just going to put it like this. F fix. Top view, top view. Yeah, and extrude. Now this is a huge wall I've got here. And I've got a little bit of a, bit of a mantle here. Extrude point, point 0.2 or so. Oh, yeah. Extrude. Extrude point 0.2. Sort of like this. Yeah. Extrude. So I've got a wall like this. And now I can just click this wall, but the rest, it's not connected to the rest of the frame. So yeah, well, you I can, I guess you get the gist of this. And I think if you, you'll have a pretty tough time designing this. So this would be very seriously good practice, actually. So I do recommend you, you, know, you, you uh, try this for a while. You should see out here, for instance, this wall is bigger here as well. Gee. And uh, I think I'm going to continue this with uh, some furniture in the next part. It's pretty tough. And you will notice that you, need the <laughs> you definitely need some practice to get this done properly. But once you're finished with this, I think you, you've, you've mastered these tools pretty well. So next, uh, next one is going to be furniture. So I'll see you all later.